Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In the last video, we have done our project setup, and uh, I hope every one of you have uh, perfectly done it without any issues, right? Now, in this one, we will be building our entities, repository, services, and we will be doing our Swagger configuration. Now, Swagger is a uh, basically a UI based tool with which we can actually test our APIs okay so we we are testing our APIs using the uh, currently postman right so we will see how we can use swagger to do it okay so we will, we will be doing this here now before we move ahead let's inject the swagger dependency okay so let's I'm copy pasting it here I I have already pushed the this code I have shared this project in the github repository I'll provide the link so this also I will push so you just have to inject this dependency of uh, swagger it has now become open API okay so this is the one let's reload the maven changes and it, it, it will include the dependency for the swagger okay now before we move on we will create a package known as configuration and for configuration we will first do swagger configuration okay okay don't ask again add and we will mark this class as configuration so to make sure that this is a this is included at runtime now we need to write some code some basic code has to be there so that we can configure our swagger so we need to create a bean first so bean of open api open api and here we will we have to provide basic info okay so info info equal to new info and then we will write title first it will be title you will just understand when we will be running our um, application you will understand where this all is going to come then the version of our app so version version where is uh, let's say 1.0 and then description so we can say and finally we need to return new open api dot info and provide info object here okay so basically this is the configuration that we need to do in our swagger so that swagger is enabled for us you will see how when the swagger is enabled then what happens okay so now let's move on to building our entities so since this is a courses app we will first be building a entity known as course okay so we will create first package entities dot course okay now this is a mongodb entity right so in mongodb we annotate our entity not with the at the rate entity but uh, we will annotate it with at document so basically there are few terminologies in the mongodb let's understand first those things so in mongodb something uh, there is something known as collections which is equivalent to the tables in sql okay and there is something known as documents which is uh, equivalent to rows right and important thing in mongodb is that mongodb collection don't generate unless there is at least one document okay so basically when you create your collection it does not reflect directly you have to include at least one data into the collection for it to reflect it okay so we will see all these things but this is the basic information that i wanted to give regarding mongodb so we will, we will see how this has to be done now here rather than creating a class i would prefer to create a record actually okay why record because we will get all the setters oh sorry all the getter no our construct uh, all our constructor and two string equals hash code method okay so simply we have to first write string course id okay so first it, it, there will be a course id of type string and we can annotate it with id 
ID should come from or dot spring framework dot data dot annotation. Okay. Second, we will have a course name. Third, we will have instructor. Then we will have a double course fee. Okay. Then we will have or uh, maybe duration. Okay. Duration and finally a boolean is course life. So these are the fields that we will be having in our uh, course entity. Okay. And here in the add document, we have to define something known as collection here. If you see, so we will write the name of our collection as courses. Okay. So collection is basically a table. So we are naming a table as courses. So this much we have done and this is perfectly fine. Now we need to create a repository for it. So to create a repository, we will say uh, repositories dot and then repository name will be course repository and it will be an interface. Now here there is an interface which we will be using for which we will have all the important methods for our basic CRUD operations and it is extends mongo repository okay mongo repository we have to provide a class of our entity or our, our document so it will be course and the the id the data type of id so it is a string so this mongo repository ha, uh, has its parent repository as crud repository and paging and sorting repository also so we will get all the things from from this repository now the next thing that we are going to do is to write our services where we will define all the logic for our uh, operations basic operations that we need to do okay so we will create a package known as services dot course service and we will create as an interface now here we will be defining all the methods so here we will say first we need to add the course right so we will say add the course and the it will return a course and we will say add course and simply we need to pass an entity of type course only and that's it second one will be to get all courses so it will uh, give us a list of all course so we will say get all courses that's it we no need to pass anything next is get course by id so it will give us one single course and we will say get course and we will write we will take a string id okay string course id two more methods update the course so update course here and it will also return the course entity the updated course entity right and here we will say updated course so here we need to provide two things first thing is course id so that first we will check whether the course is present or not and based on that particular id we will uh, apply the changes to the data so we will provide the data for the course okay and finally delete course delete course so uh, here we will just provide a string message so delete and uh, delete course we just need to provide a string course id that's it okay so this is our five important uh, operations that we will be doing it right as we have said that we will first do implement cred operations so these are the five CRUD operations that we are going to do add read update and delete now let's implement the implementation classes so course service implementation impl and it will implement the interface course service we will implement all the methods right now i am doing this a bit uh, faster as you can see because already in the our backend series most of them things are covered and these are very basic things so uh, basics of spring boot you should know if you are going with this that i expect this is a class we will annotate it with service to mention that whenever we are using a reference of this course or course service 
then create an object of this class okay now for getting all the methods related to the these add get update and delete we need we need to inject the dependency of course repository so let's bring it private final course repository and then add the constructor and here it will be very simple one here we will now currently we will be doing only two of them that is first add course and get all courses the rest three of them we will do later because we just need to test our apis first so return this dot course repository dot save and we will pass the course and here we will say this dot course repository dot find all now if you have followed my backend series all those of you for all of you you have the assignment of implementing these three methods on your own try to do it and see if it is if you can do it for rest of them we will be covering up all these three methods in the next video so for this video we have we are only going to do add courses and get all courses so this is done right now once our service implementation is done and let me create a new package also here in the services impulse package and i will move this into here now let's create a controller controllers dot course controller okay now here we will annotate it with rest controller and then we will write a request mapping that is a base url so base url will be courses okay now here we need to write we will be writing two request handlers which will handle the request for adding a new course to the database and getting all the courses from the database so before that we will need to inject a service course service impulse dependency so we will say course service and we need course service now we will write public response entity and then we will inside it we will say a course and then we will say add course then we will write request body and simply we will return new response entity and we will say this dot course service dot add course course we will pass this and in the http status also we will pass as created and we will annotate it with post mapping next thing is get mapping to get all the courses so we will say public response entity list of courses we want so list of course and we will say get all courses and will then simply return response entity dot ok and this dot course service dot get all courses right so this was very much uh, very simple to do because we have already seen all these things before that's why if anyone is finding the pace to be a bit faster then i would prefer that you should have a basic fundamental understanding of this uh, spring boot because uh, and especially how to build restful apis because we have already discussed that in the previous series or our backend courses in which from basic to advanced i have discussed there right here we are just learning new concepts and uh, how to interact with the no sql database that is mongodb that is the primary objective here you have seen that we have added a swagger configuration here right so we need to do something with this swagger configuration right so we will swagger configuration basically is something which is used to document our apis so how do we document our apis so let's say the syntax of it and then you will understand that how this is done so i have copy pasted this thing this uh, whole thing okay now before you get too overwhelmed by what i have copy pasted here directly let me give you every detail of it first annotation that we have put is an operation so here we basically write the summary description of it okay so summary of our api so what we are actually going to do with this endpoint 
so we are going to add a course right next is what is the a brief description we need to write so we have said we add the course to db by providing course object in the request body we get the new created course as a response perfectly fine and tags is something that you mentioned which is related to this this whole api so this tag the importance of tag you will understand a bit later just wait for some time right then we have said api responses now here we define how our api will be working so first thing is response code what will be the response code so we have provided that http status dot created so the uh, response code for uh, the this status created is 201 that's why we have said the response code expected is 201 the content is the content that we are going to provide is of the type course dot class as we you have seen that we are providing at request body as a course and we are providing this as an argument to the add course method right and the media type is of course application json so in the same way we can now write for this way uh, operation and then you can write like this so first is summary so here it will be get all courses then description so in description we can say we will get all courses in the database and finally tags now in the tags i am currently writing courses and then get why i am writing courses and get you will understand when i run the api and i show you the uh, that open api page okay we will see that now next thing is api responses so first is api responses in this we will pass an object so going inside we have to say api response now the response code for this is since we are just saying response dot okay so for okay we will just say 200 then next is content so for content we have to write at content schema then at schema we have to define and then the implementation so implementation so here implementation means what kind of schema are we getting from this api so we are getting a list of course so we will just say list dot class okay so this is our schema right and then finally we will have media type which will be application slash json this is how we integrate swagger or open api into our uh, controllers into our uh, while building the restful apis because this will be really very helpful you will see it soon now before we run this make ensure that your docker is running as we have set up this project using docker so for me the docker is running here perfectly fine so i can run this application right i hope everything we have done yeah perfect so now let's run this thing and see if things are coming up correctly okay so it said started application with no there is no errors as such so here i have pushed the in the github as you can see i pushed courses app spring mongodb here i have already pushed the project setup that we have done initially i will push the code all here in this repository right now let's go to our swagger api so we will say localhost 8080 swagger api slash index.html so when we go here you can see it return courses app from where this is coming this is coming from swagger configuration we have written courses app version 1.0 and description is this is course sys api endpoints so version 1.0 and this is course api endpoints right here all the servers are there so currently we have only one server now here we have created uh, in the controller if you go we have created the tags here the tags were courses and post here the tags for courses and get so all the, the tags are used to classify the endpoints into various tags so under courses tags both are there get and post under the get only get endpoint and under the post only the post endpoint so this is the way you can group together a particular set of api suppose there is an api which is 
only uh, which has all the post mapping there are endpoints with all the get mappings endpoint with all the delete mappings update mappings like that we can do that and here we can see we have got the schema also course id course name instructor course fee duration and is course life and if you explore this then it will give you the data type also here so you get all the information here in the single page when you are integrating swagger into your while building the rest endpoints right so this is actually very useful so let's first add a course so here we have an add the course right now we said that in the add courses we have said in the description we add the course to db by providing course object and request body right so this is the same description it comes here right and the title we provided add a course it is coming here now to make sure that we have to try here from here rather than using a postman so let's say try it out now one thing again i want to specify that here if you don't provide this course id it is optional why because mongodb will automatically create an id for you in case you don't provide it okay so i will leave it to mongodb only and i will just provide the name of these courses so i will say let's say a spring boot course instructor i can say myself maybe course fee currently it's zero but let's say 2000 uh, duration let's say three months and course life true okay this is the first information that we are going to send and let's see if and here you have to execute so if you execute and go below you can see we get the response code as 201 and as you can see we got the response in the response body we get the course id right this is the course id a mongodb generated for us we can provide one more course maybe let's say angular course by someone else like uh, rakesh mehta any name i'm just putting up let's say it is 3000 duration two months course life false okay a completely different data so let's execute this one so if we execute this we get the here perfect now to check whether actually the schema is or means everything is there or not let's first minimize this open this get courses and let's try it out also so whether we are getting all the courses or not so if we, i just execute it because we don't have to provide anything so it is giving us the list of courses so from the swagger it is giving all the things but let's check if it will be giving in the mongodb also so let me open mongodb compass here i have to provide the authentication so the authentication here will be the same that you have given in the uh, compose.yaml file here i have given mongo and 1234 so whichever credential you have given you can put that here so i will give mongo and 1234 connect so it has connected so here if i courses db okay oh, okay here is the courses db so here in the courses db i have the courses data two records are there right so we have successfully got the record here so that's was uh, what we have successfully done by creating a new course using the using spring boot and by fetching all the records from the database now as i have said you guys can try get course update course and delete course don't worry i will be doing this in the next video but i'll leave it to you for your assignment and let's see if you are able to do it also or not just give it a try okay and i will be pushing a whole of this uh, code into the github so don't worry about that so i hope you have liked this video please subscribe to the channel like press the like button and i will see you in the next one till then bye bye